so much for coming back to my channel. I know I've been on hiatus and I apologize and I hope that you guys enjoy this tutorial day for you. I kind of like half-assed created something that came up to the top of my head so I hope you like this look that I created and I will be going step by step how I did it including the hair and like if you guys are interested in my like wig today or my hair which is this amazing like orange um I got it from eWigs it's ee -E wigs and you can find them on Instagram or online um I think I got it from a uh, actual person that sold it to me in person and she had like a bunch of them so I really enjoyed doing this for you and I think it came out amazing like it was really fun so I hope you guys can enjoy this and let's get into this look okay, so we are trying something completely new to me because I have never done this before but this should be exciting Okay, so I'm going to start by prepping my face. I have this like sample size like Clinique 72 hour replenish, replenishing hydrator. And I actually love using this stuff. Like I am about to buy like the full size because of how amazing this little sample has been to my face lately. So. It's always good to hydrate your face before you put on so much makeup anyway. Mm, just feel it moisturizing my skin. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna let it sit there for a minute. So just so that my skin can like really take it all in and it just feels so hydrating. It's like amazing. Super, super amazing. I would recommend that to like anybody. I just found out the importance of primer and oh my god, the difference it made from not using primer to using primer now is like huge. I wish I knew about it way sooner. I've been using Maybelline's Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser and like a little goes a long way with this stuff. Like it's super perfect. Like, like instead of my like foundation not doing exactly what I would want it to do, now that I'm using primer, like oh my god, the difference it's been making my like final looks is just like amazing like i'm still on the hunt for like the best hydrating primer or like pore eraser like i really want to try that new elf one well it's been out for a while but um if you guys have suggestions on primers let me know in the comments below because i'm a noob and i want all you guys's opinions on anything i use for the very first step, I'm going to be using Wet n Wild's Photo Focus Foundation. I love this foundation. Like, I don't know, it's like my favorite one so far. I can't even open it because of the primer on my hands. I love this one as like a drugstore foundation. It's like pretty good. And like, I like full coverage foundations, even if like, Sometimes they look kicky. And if you guys also have suggestions on really good, like, full coverage foundations for, like, the low low, let me know. Because I am all about saving that money. So, I am going to completely blend this in. I don't know if you're supposed to cover your eyelids, but I do it anyway. I think I just slightly poked my eye right there. Whoops. Um, I actually do prefer using a brush to put on my foundation, but I've heard from a lot of people that 
it can't do it this way because it comes out streaky which in my personal opinion it hasn't come out streaky for me but it's all in like preference you know my eyes still slightly watery from poking it out with my brush mm. Mm, look at that. Amazing. Alright, so I am getting ready to do the world's worst like part of my makeup routine. Just kidding. And that's contouring. I use e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. Uh, I'm not quite sure if I use the right color for a contour. But it still comes out pretty good to me. But I'm gonna place a few dots right there and right here and all across the top I don't want to over contour today so I'm keeping it light my eye will stop bothering me that would be great get my makeup sponge and I'm gonna dab it in We're gonna break our wrist dabbing this in, okay? <sighs> this is the part where you wanna like take your time and like make sure that it's blending perfectly because you don't wanna look like a lion or <laughs> a tiger with blotches all over you you want it to blend really really well into your like face I'm going to do the same to the other side and go up I usually work my way down and then up just so that it gets the bone structure look I am looking for. We are shape shifting our face. Okay, so when we have the contour part, I'm going in with the lighter color, still up. I'm really impressed with the formula on these new concealers that just came out not too long ago. I think the formula is great and I do believe these were Jeffree Star approved so there's a big yay you know. So with the lighter color we're going to go back in and we're going to dab it and blend it into that darker color. And when it comes to the under eye, remember to look up so that it doesn't crease. You want that really sharp look under the eyes. I feel like I'm doing this super serious, like, oh my god, like, oh my god, serious contouring. Should make that a show. Don't tell anybody. Serious contouring, where it's the challenge of the makeup artist to contour the best. And you have to do every skin color and every age. Um, any sex or, I don't know, it's just extreme contouring, but like, a competition, like a reality show, that'd be pretty cool. Like, if that idea gets pitched out, you guys know where it originally, like, came from. Like, 
And don't forget, like, even if it takes you an hour to contour your face, at least it's an hour that's going to make you feel like a queen. Alright, now that my wrist now needs to be, like, wrapped up, we are done. You see, you don't want it, like, a straight line. You want it blended in so it goes with your face. I'm taking my e.l.f. bronzer duo. This is the one in St. Lucia. And I'm going to be mixing these colors, actually, and just going over where I contour it. Just so I can get that sun kiss like contour line like I want like oh I was out at the beach all day but instead of sunburn I want to be bathed in the bronzer of the sunlight I'm like I said, we're not doing like super heavy today. Like I'm going for like a really like smoothly sun-kissed like glow. I want like the finish, like you, you just wait. I don't know exactly what I'm doing on my eye look yet, but we'll figure it out as we go. I am going to set my face. I have the Kat Von D setting powder. I actually have like the uh, trial size you get for a free birthday gift because I wasn't sure which setting powder I wanted to like get so I was just t trying this one out but so far I really really enjoy how much of a difference setting powder makes on my face now like I haven't fully like caked my face in setting powder like most people do but I like the way the makeup looks after using it. The difference, like I said, like between not using setting powder before and using it now is just like blowing my mind. Like I should have been using these like four years ago. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna let it sit. Gotta let it bake. Bake. Mm -hmm. I, and while we do that, I'm going to show you this amazingly beautiful palette. As most of you guys already have, like this is the James Charles Morphe palette. And I am clearly obsessed with this like arrangement of colors. Like, look at that that is gorgeous like this is like one of my like all-time favorite like rainbow palettes now like I was obsessed with like BH Cosmetics is take me back to Brazil and now like I go from that to this and back to the other one and it's like fighting for competing against battle of the rainbows I'm gonna brush off the powder it's big enough like I said, I'm not heavy contouring, so it doesn't need to bake for a long time today. Alright, so this is where it's going to get fun. Because, like I said, we're going to do something I've never really done before. So, <clears throat> on my lovely eyebrows that are non-existent. On my lovely eyebrows that are like non-existent, I actually have these little tapes and I am going to make a point, kind of like a triangle. Ooh, look at that. Alright, so. I actually want it to go like all the way and I'm gonna try to do that to the other side as well uh -huh. just so that I can keep them partially even
there we go if you can see that i do like using this as a little mirror and i have two pencils here one in pink and one in black and we're going to start with the pink one and kind of ombre it into the back with the black and see how this turns out so i'm going to round the front of it and make sure the tape sticks down That's how it's turning out so far. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Try not to let the tape move out of place too. Another thing I really like to do is go over it with some of the eyeshadow. So we're using that pink out of the James Charles palette. And we're going to go over and blend it in. Do the same thing to the other side. when you feel com like if you feel comfortable enough you should be able to detach the tape and you can clean up the mess a little bit if there is one like for me all I have is a little bit right there and look at those lovely eyebrows. Oh, I think they came out pretty good. So let's keep going. Let's see how amazing we can turn this. Alright, so we'll come back to the pencils. I actually want to start on the actual look. We're going to keep the pink and black theme. And I'm going to be using that same pink. And going on my eye. Well, I have hooded eyes, so like I had to go over where my my crease would be. I go my hood is right here. I go up and then up even more so that I can have that cut crease to look at the end. And I actually love using this brush from Anastasia. It was in my like subculture palette, I believe. And I can create a whole look using this brush. But today I'm using two brushes instead of one. I'm using 
the perfusion brush that actually came with I believe the amber eyes palette so I actually love using brushes that come with the palettes because I believe they were made for that like specific like eyeshadow palette and if they could work for that one they can work for like all of them really really good so I, I went like super packed on So have you guys like heard about like the crazy like beauty guru like shit going on like my bad stuff going on i know youtube's been censoring a lot of stuff and if you like cuss too much you like get in trouble with youtube because it's like your parents now but like the stuff going on between like james charles and tati um that stuff's been like overwashed by the stuff going on with um Jaclyn Hill's lipsticks. Like, I really, really wanted to buy those. And I'm glad I waited until, like, reviews came out. Because I would be, like, hor like horrified for spending, like, 300 bucks on, like, the whole collection. And then finding out they all have, like, hairs in them. So I'm glad I, like, waited. And I'm going to see, like, how it turns out later on. Because she can turn around a lot of stuff. And I love, like, her collaborations with, like, Morphe, even though some of the eyeshadow, like, eyeshadows in the vault weren't as good. But, <clears throat> like, I still like the colors. It's just some of them were patchy. But other than that, I really, really like her old products. And let's see how she can turn this around for herself. So I'm going to go in with these two orange colors on the very top like we've been using this one this whole time and now i'm gonna like mix it in those two oranges just so i can have a like peachy pink like feel to it i just want to mix it in just like that if you can see that I'm loving how this is turning out. So, okay. We're gonna, like, super duper, like, cheat the system. I'm gonna show you guys how I, like, cheat sheet my, um, cat wing. Uh, because I don't want to, like, mess up my eyeshadow right now. So, I'm totally gonna cheat sheet. And for the cat eye, I'm actually going to be using Kat Von D's Tattoo Liner. I love how this liner works. I just, I wish it wasn't so smudgy. Like, I don't know if that's just me, if I'm using it wrong, but it's kind of smudgy for me. And if you guys have total, like, awesome um, recommendations for this, let me know. Like, I use NYX's, um, I guess you could say, like, dupe for this. And I really like that one, too. I just, I want to try some new ones. So, I got my handy dandy tape again. And I want to make this like a dramatic wing. We're going to make it super like long pretty much. <laughs> uh, and going to fill this in. Look at that. Cheat sheet. Cat wing 101.
<laughs> the, how it's coming out. Has anybody else... Do you guys have any other, like, cheat sheets for how you guys do wings on a hooded eye? Because that would actually be really useful. And before I actually take that off, I do want to go in uh, with the black that's in the palette and just go over it. Kind of like setting. I'm setting it down. See, look at that. Okay. If this played out well, it would come out freaking amazing. That's my cheat sheet. Dramatic cat wing liner. And then you just go back in and you fill in the gaps if there is any. I think I'm in love with how that turned out. So I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. And I'm really happy that I didn't take out my like eyeshadow. You can't even see me. Okay, so this is how our amazing look is coming so far. Cheat sheet wings complete. Oh, there we go. That run. That was fun. Alright, so I do want to go in with a little bit more black on the eyelids just because, like, I have that, like, horrible, horrible hooded eye, and I kind of want to hide it with my wing <laughs> like you can hide it right <laughs> mm. Mm. all right so you know how we did that on the top? I kind of want to put it right here. But facing like the opposite direction. And I thought I cut more tape. But that's alright. Alright, so. If the. Mm 
there we go and I'm getting my pencils back out and as you can see I am just gonna color this in like a stencil and then go back in with the pink Hold up, let me sharpen it real fast. I like to go back and forth just so I know it's well blended into each other. And then I'm going to add that pink. And then remove it. And then we're going to do the same thing to the other side. And add the pink. And just start taking that pink and blending it out because you want it to go with the rest of the face. And it doesn't matter how many times you go back over it, just keep going. You want it nice and blended out. And then go back in with that black and put it a blend it into the pink.
and do take your time you want it to come out pretty good like not like you brushed it but that's what makeup is all about creativity and having fun like explore what you can do with what you have right now i feel like i am being naruto inspired <laughs> but i like the way it's actually turning out i almost dipped my brush in a bronzer so <laughs> I haven't done a video, so I'm sorry. If I put the mirror in the way, I'm so sorry. Like, it's been a while since, like, I actually filmed my, like, makeup looks. And I forget, like, a whole shit. Like, you can't see what I'm doing. And I'm supposed to be, like, showing you exactly what I did. And if, like, the mirror gets in the way, don't take it personal. It's just... <laughs> it's been a while. But... I'm so happy you guys have sat through this much with me. Okay, so I need this one bigger. So I just need to match this side. Go up. And maybe a little bit more downward. I'm going to be adding that violet color. That's right next to the pink, just to blend into the black. Just a little bit. Hmm. Just like that. So. So, since we are done with the eyeshadow, I can't find the cap to that. I'm just going to lay that over there. Alright, so, this is our look. Alright, so I was trying to figure out which color would be better, because I had the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip from Mousse, and I believe this is Red Hot. And I also have the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Project Chimps. And this was a limited edition shade. I think I think came out like a few years back. But like the proceeds went to like saving the chimps so that like chimpanzees could have a say so in their lives instead of being like used for um, experiments like whether it be makeup or just experience you wouldn't do on a fucking human so I went and got this and all the proceeds of this shade went to that um, to them and I'm in love with how the shade comes out like check this out Look how gorgeous that shade is. Like, it goes really good. So, I am going to be using... Alright, so, I actually did that influencer thing where they, like, send you, like, a Vox box or whatever if you just, like, do a bunch of reviews. And they gave me the NYX On The Rise, which is, like, a brand new mascara. And I am obsessed. Like, I halfway don't even need, like, a fake, um 
lashes anymore like after using this and it just glides on like a dream So, I am going to add lashes, and I'll be right back. And there are my lashes. So, I think to complete this look, Yui should pull out the extreme part. Alright, so, I'm obsessed with wigs now. Right, and I just found this really cute like business called eWigs and I actually bought mine from the girl and I guess she works for them because they gave me this really really cute bag with a brush for the wig and like it's just really 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 good quality on their wigs. I'm just snipping off the last of the um, the lace that I f haven't cut yet because I've been too lazy and preoccupied and um, not really but <laughs> it's just fumbling around and I'm obsessed like look at that it's super pretty so like I like to brush it right before we get started but I will brush it like continuously like throughout the entire time I'm like wearing it and mm, can't even like work with it today. It's not working with me. Finally, mm. let me put my hair back for a minute, and then I'm going to be putting this on from the back to front Ugh. and let me clip these sides and You can see right here is where I will be attaching it. Like, look at that. This is simply gorgeous. And I'm going to do it like the old fashioned way. I'm using glue. Well, hair glue. Pretty much like, is this gorilla glue? I'm just going to be adding it at the very top. And this actually works like super good on holding it down. And I'm going to lift up and I'm going to set it. And what I usually use to hold it down while it dries, I have no idea where I put it. So we're going on a whim. And I will actually hold it for a minute and when it's all set I will come back all right and when it's all set and it's all beautiful your look is complete like look how cute it looks Thank you guys so much for like watching this entire thing. I know it was like crazy, crazy, like amazing and like fun and 
I'm, I know I sound like I'm kind of still like scared of the camera, which is true. I know off screen I forgot to show you guys the setting spray I used, but it is Lasting Fix from Maybelline. I actually was able to try it before it was in stores and it, it's amazing. So thank you guys so much. I hope to see you guys the next time I make a video. Uh, stay tuned uh, for more fun, exciting looks for me. Uh, this is Beauty Behind the Mascara. See you all next time.